Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from KBandsTraining.com and today I'm here to help you get rid of your shin splints fast with this simple trick. The trick here to get rid of your shin splints is going to be to evaluate and analyze your calf muscles. A lot of times we can get trigger points or balls of tension within our calf that if you use your hands, a golf club, or a massage foam roller, you're gonna find these big knots in your calf. The first step to getting rid of your shin splints is to get rid of these knots in your calf. It may seem counterproductive, you're working in opposite area, but our body works as one. So we have to eliminate and stretch out our calf completely. And what you'll find is oftentimes with an acute shin injury, you can get rid of it right away. This still may take a couple days. You may find that your shin splints not gone instantly. A lot of times it all depends on how tight your calf muscles are and how quickly you can alleviate pain. Drink lots of water, get in some consistent stretching, and heat the area to elongate the muscle and relax the tension. So let's break down the course of action that you're gonna use. First, you're gonna evaluate the calf, make sure that it's not tight in any one particular area. If you find a trigger point, you're gonna grab a massage foam roller and work the area two times a day for three to four days. After we've got it nice and warmed up, you're gonna go hang off the edge of a step, stretching your calf muscles to elongate the muscle. The other key component is rest. You're gonna to have to take out all the plyometric and running exercises that you're doing to really alleviate the area, pull the inflammation out, and get rid of that shin splint fast. As you move into the next phases of rehabilitating your shin, you're gonna use the rice method. Lots of rest, ice the area, compress the area, and elevate. Let's dive into each one of these very quickly. Resting the area is simple. Eliminate the high impact exercises that you're doing. The best way to ice your shins is going to be to freeze Dixie cups in your freezer, tear off the top edge, and then you'll utilize the ice to massage the painful area in your shin. To compress the lower leg, you're gonna grab a calf sleeve. This is gonna add a little bit more blood flow to the area by giving some tension which will eliminate some of that pain as well. And finally, you can elevate the area, but that's not always possible. So at home, at night, go ahead and elevate the leg a little bit and help that inflammation run out of your leg. We definitely can't finish this video without some prevention techniques. So how do you not get shin splints in the first place? Well, range of motion is key to all healthy bodies. Be sure that you're stretching your shin as well as your calves and your hamstrings regularly. If you're doing long distance types of sprints, long distance running, Shin splints are gonna be very easy for you to acquire with bad shoes. So make sure that you're always rolling over new shoes every now and again when you notice the arches are starting to break down. Keep in mind though, a shin splint is often the result of overuse or overtraining. So be conscious of this. If you continually have shin splints, then you're most likely pushing your body too far and may have improper nutrition or not resting enough. One great method to get into a daily routine is utilizing a massage foam roller. We've got a recovery foam roller, but there's a bunch of them out there. We just wanna make sure that you get on a consistent rolling protocol. We wanna be working the calf, the hamstring, and all of the lower limbs. I've created a program called the Recovery Stretching Sequence. It's a free program, you can use it at any time. It's a video streaming even on YouTube. Get on there and understand how you utilize that role in your daily routine to get good and stretched out. There you have it. Now you know how to get rid of your shin splint fast if the problem lies in your calf muscle.